this area here that I've been bulldozing is where the small dome used to be. But I found it a new home over here at the back of the island, kind of in this area no one ever goes into. So all my, all my dry materials and the chicken food and stuff stays in there. And then I thought, I'm gonna have to just plow through this whole half of the island and you know get one half of the island kind of leveled out to where it needs to be uh, as opposed to just trying to do little bits and kind of weave my way through the buildings so I got the chicken house out of the way too moved it down here gave them a couple upgrades in the process but this is their temporary house so I didn't go too crazy I don't want to put a lot of effort into a temporary house anyway now I've got this whole empty zone here and I can yeah, just all at once, just take all the dirt with my bulldozer and All right, it's gonna take a while. But uh, shove all this down into the end of the island where my tower is gonna be. Yeah, my tower is way bigger than the other one, I know. Uh, but just fill in all in here and get this dirt built up to, you know, closer to where it's gonna be. And then I can take the red dome Bring it over here, you know, when this has some nice ground to put it on. And then that'll free up all the area over there where I'm working and doing concrete. And once this dome is out of the way, I'll have access to the biggest chunk of dirt on the island. This is the highest spot and the fattest area. So I can plow through here and bulldoze this all up against this wall and build up the, the dirt and then bulldoze some inside here because I still need to fill in over there and then I can uh, plow dirt up to here and just get this whole area uh, you know ready for working and stuff although I have to wait for this pineapple here it's pretty close to ready and then another one right there I can just go around them for a while and then there are a few on the other side of the island I can just bulldoze around all those all right now I'm just moving all this stuff out of the way <laughs> oh, that is not the best bulldozer shade I've ever seen. I don't know what is. Oh, look! It's a bulldozer! I'm finding that I'm way better at breaking up the ground than my bulldozer. Because I can come through here pretty quick just break up this whole area because I can see where the roots are and you know I can just hit right in the right spots but whenever I was digging before the hardest thing about moving the dirt was actually the moving of it not the breaking up of the dirt and uh, if I come in here with my bulldozer I can hit the roots then back up and kind of keep scraping over them until I get it just right and then it rips out and then the next root it just you know, it just takes a lot longer to do it with the bulldozer than it does by hand. Plus, 
Plus, I like to get some exercise anyway. So, I'm breaking all of this up, this whole area, by hand. And then the bulldozer will come through here and make short work of moving it. It'll just shove everything right off the side. Oh, look at that. It's only about 20 minutes of hand work to get all that dug up. and recharge with some sun. Ah, oh, this works out perfectly. Probably doesn't look that much different on camera. But it's significantly lower over there and the land goes, I don't know, like a meter and a half past where it used to. So, good work, keep it up. Go eat some food. Now I've got this motor right here, and my batteries are like an inch away, and the motor gets hot. I don't think it gets hot enough to melt the batteries or anything, and it hasn't had any problems yet. But I feel like it would be beneficial to have a heat shield here anyway. So I don't need to heat my batteries. Oh, it's pretty good. I was busy doing all kinds of stuff this morning, but I did spend the afternoon doing this and I'm making some pretty good progress. I'm getting significantly closer to that wall over there. I mean, this just looks like a pile of dirt, but I can tell it's different. I swear it's different. <laughs> 